Hey everybody and welcome back to MarketPunch.com and here's a tutorial for you on how to get that custom less than six second video off your computer onto your iPhone and into Vine so you can share it with your audience and drive some traffic to a longer form piece of video content that might live on YouTube, Vimeo, or your website. So without uh, any further ado, let's get going. Now I'm going to assume you already edited your video in your favorite uh, video editing software. I'm a Sony Vegas Pro kind of guy, but obviously you can use whatever you want. Uh, and you want to make sure that this video is at uh, 480 by 480 in that square uh, resolution there and less than one and a half megs uh, before we get going. Once you have that video created, we have to run it through Handbrake to do just a little more processing. Uh, if you haven't downloaded Handbrake already, do it now and then fire it up. And what you want to make sure you have is uh, you set your video frame rate to be constant at 24 frames per second uh, and then your average bit rate over here at uh, 1048 kbps. Now switch over to the audio tab and uh, we want to make sure that uh, we got a sample rate of 44.1, our bit rate is 128 and that our uh, mix down is mono. And once we do that we hit the start button it's going to render a file uh, that we can actually get onto your phone that Vine will accept. From here you're actually going to pick up your phone and load up the Vine app and start making a video. Uh, make sure you don't use all six seconds of time you want to stop before it gets to that six seconds. Uh, once you're done with that, go back to your computer, open up uh, iExplorer, which you've already downloaded, uh, and you're going to navigate to the uh, Files tab, Apps, and then scroll down to your Vine app. You want to navigate to uh, the TMP Temporary folder. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take the uh, video that you produced and drag it into this folder here. All right, so now you should see a couple files. You should see the video you just dragged in there, along with a temporary video of what you just recorded uh, on Vine. Now here's where we just get a little tricky. We rename that Vine video, that temporary Vine video, to something else, and then copy that its file name. And then once we've renamed that one, we're going to paste that file name to uh, our custom video. So once we do that, then we switch back to Vine, and we hit the green check mark button, and voila, look what we have we have your video that you created uh, taking the place of the one that you recorded on your phone. Uh, that's pretty simple as that. Uh, so once again, now you can go ahead and finish your post, finish it up, put in a, a short link to your longer form content uh, that you want to drive people to. Just remember on Vine that link won't be clickable. It's like Instagram, you can type a link in there but it's not clickable. But if you uh, select the share to Twitter uh, button, it will be clickable when it gets shared to Twitter. Uh, so you can do it that way. So there you go, folks. That's how you take a custom video and get it on the Vine. I'm looking forward to see what you come up with. Be sure to come back to the blog here on MarketPunch.com and uh, share your video in the comment section of this post because I want to see what you come up with. I like creative vines. And don't forget to follow me, Jason Stum on Vine, J-A-S-O-N-S-T-U-M on Vine. Search for me. Give me a follow. I will follow you back. Until next time, guys, we'll talk to you later.